Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. In this video, we will show you the crystallization process of copper sulphate. First of all, let's know what is crystallization. Crystallization from the solution is a separation technique where the solid phase means crystal is separated from the mother liquor. Or you can say it is defined as the process through which atom or molecule of a substance arrange themselves in a well-defined three dimension lattice means bind together through the well-defined angle. Next, what is the application of crystallization? Crystallization is used for the purification of the compound means in order to obtain pure crystal of a substance from impure mixture. In the pharmaceutical industries, crystallization process is used as a separation and purification process for the synthesis and the isolation of pure active pharmaceutical ingredients etc. Let's start the experiment on crystallization process in which we convert the copper sulfate powder into crystal form. First of all, take water in a beaker. Here we have taken 250 ml water and then transfer with the help of a spatula copper sulfate which is in the powder form. Add a small amount of the copper sulfate and then stir it with the help of glass rod to dissolve the copper sulfate in the water. We have to repeat this process means again we have to add a small amount of copper sulphate into it and then again completely dissolve it by stirring with the help of glass rod. By adding more and more copper sulphate in water after some time there will be a point come after which no more copper sulphate will dissolve in water and this point is called saturation point and the solution is called saturated solution. After that, stop adding copper sulphate when it becomes insoluble. Means, whenever solution becomes saturated. Here you can see the insoluble copper sulphate at the bottom of the beaker. Now, heat the solution to dissolve the insoluble copper sulphate. Here we are using spirit lamp to heat the saturated solution of copper sulphate. On heating, insoluble copper sulphate will start to solubilize in water. And now again repeat the process as previous means again add small amount of copper sulphate stir with the help of glass rod to dissolve the copper sulphate and then again repeat the process means again add small amount of the copper sulphate into the beaker and dissolve it we have to repeat this process till no more copper sulphate dissolve in water means again after some time there will be a point come at which no more copper sulphate dissolve in water and then this stage is called super saturation point and the solution is called super saturated solution then stop adding copper sulphate into it. Now again you can see the insoluble copper sulphate left at the bottom of the beaker and this is now the super saturated solution of copper sulphate. Now to allow the nuclear formation place a thread in the middle of the beaker with the support of glass rod. Now keep this beaker aside without disturbing it for crystallization process. During this period the copper sulphate particles spontaneously arrange into a repetitively orderly manner means in a regular geometric pattern that is called crystal and the process is known as crystallization. After one day you can see here that at the bottom of beaker crystal formation has been initiated and if you observe uh, from the top of the beaker you can see that on the thread there is also crystal form and after three days or after completion of crystallization process pull the thread gently you can see here crystals formed on the thread also keep this thread aside we have to separate the crystal from the liquid. For this, decant the supernatant liquid in another empty beaker so that the crystals remain at the bottom of the beaker. After complete decanting, you can clearly see here at the bottom of beaker there are crystals of copper sulfate formed. You can see here a very fine and shiny crystals of copper sulfate in the beaker and this is orthorhombic crystals of copper sulfate. Pentahydrate copper sulfate which is most common salt, bright blue salt, dissolve in water exothermically and the crystal of which has octahedral molecular geometry. Now transfer these crystals of copper sulfate on filter paper for drying. Filter paper will soak the excess water on the crystals. 
Finally, these are the crystals of copper sulfate after drying. Here you can compare from the image that the copper sulfate taken for the crystallization and the copper sulfate prepared after crystallization means crystals of copper sulfate. Thank you very much for watching this video. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Video link is given in the description box. Thank you.